Good morning. Um, I'm in front of the train station right now and I'm going on a trip this week. I'm going away for three days with uh, some friends from my Erasmus program and the first stop is Nabon. My breakfast is pizza. This is Raquel. So in the metro they say one time in French and then Occitan. And the Occitan this is a dialect. This is a language. Yes, it's a mixture in Spanish and French. For the people who come from Spain and French can be talk. Just a dialect from the Pyrenees by France. This is the old old dialect. The young people like me can learn but it's not uh, really the first language now. My father learned Occitan uh, to talk with parents and grandparents. So we arrived in Navon and the weather is so nice. Look at the sun. So we met a really nice French girl on the train. Yeah she showed us some places, some traditional food and she explained the Occidental dialect and her grandpa yeah, we met him, we met him too. Super French. <laughs> yeah, so like already with the jokes and everything. Yeah. Wonder, wonder. Thing about this. This is the altar. The wow. It was built in 1694. <laughs> Obviously, okay, nice Classic paper fashion. you got there. <laughs> you have the, for the coral. For the house. For guys, <laughs> people are sitting here in their t-shirts, okay? And it's February. in love with this park Guys, do they have a name for the city? Because I think it should be called the Golden City, right? Oh, we agree, because it's so beautiful Every No, day. because of the, the, color the, color the colors the wall. We have La Ville Rose Toulouse and La Ville d'Or. La Ville d'Or. Wow. That's so pretty. I didn't think it was that. at Fontignon and the funny thing is only we three made it out of the train and the others are still in the train I don't know where they are we don't know where they are they're going to Montpellier hey, look who finally arrived hi guys welcome back to the tourist channel hey yeah. what's cooking it's very uncomfortable there's no there's no knife mm -hmm. do you think this is enough for us like the last supper take a photo like that I can't believe we are here for one evening and already drink all of this and two bottles of wine. Nice job, everybody! 
Good morning! It's another day. It's Thursday today, day two of the trip. And I thought I'm going to show you the Airbnb now. We have two beds here and two beds. We have a little bathroom here. You go down. <laughs> hey, everybody! Yeah, we're having breakfast now. It's raining a little bit, but this is our view. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, maybe eggs. eggs. I'm, I'm going to Ramsey or whatever. Yeah. What's that technique? Um, I call it the mixing technique. I'm a f***ing genius. Yeah. Thank you. You deserve a Michelin star. It's another bathroom, so this is the second bathroom. 40. Guys, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> what are we doing today? First of all, I welcome back to Victoria's channel. Let's we'll start with that. Yeah. Second of all, we're going to set, taking the train. Which was only a euro, so that's lucky. Yeah, but like it's only six minutes too. <laughs> We're so excited to see the ocean. We're so excited to see And also, sad. we are so glad that it's not raining. Yeah, nice. yeah Alhamdulillah. Oh, yeah. Also, like, rain is subhanallah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, subhanallah. So, like, blessing from God. <laughs> Where's our vlogger? She's on, a, she's on a break right now. I'm doing it for her, for all of us. Like the makeup, <laughs> not that we're supposed it's to be no anymore. Water friendly. We just wanted to stop raining already. Come on. So guys, how is it? Really so I just have a classic pizza because I don't eat fish. Oh art galleries the first one was really cool and the owner was really nice he took pictures of us everybody it's friday and we are still in frontillon but our train is going in one hour so we were walking around a little bit now we're going to montpellier we're waiting for the train welcome to montpellier in the airbnb and today we'll probably just walk around maybe do some shop some shopping 
Also, my first impression of Montpellier was really, really good. And the tram reminds me really much of Nice. It was very like, lively. Check out our Airbnb. Where are the snacks? Are they here or are they there? Oh! Alec, we love the interior design. So this is the kitchen. So this is another bed here. Bathroom. Yeah. Then we have these stairs, and they are there's something else. Have a nice room. I I Yeah. I like this one. It's cute. Probably my favorite room because it has the tree here girls and we took a picture all together they're gonna watch this vlog <laughs> you guys were so nice to Toulouse. I won't cheat on Toulouse but we were really in love with Montpellier and we will definitely go back. Oh what are these beauties? This is not true. Good morning. It's Saturday. Yeah, I'm going back now to Toulouse and I slept like for a solid two hours last night so that's why I look a little rough Hello everybody, I'm back home This is makeup and I have to say, even though that I've only slept two hours I feel like everything's just... gets a normal day which, I don't know, it's weird I should be tired. I just wanted to reflect on the trip a little bit. I'm so happy that I went with the other students. I got to see three different cities. It was totally worth it. And it wasn't boring at all. We had so much fun. We had good conversations. If you're doing an Erasmus or something like that and a group is offering to do this, go. Even if you don't know the people, it will be worth it. And if you don't get along with anybody, at least you saw different places. If you ever have the chance to go to Montpellier, go. And you don't even need a plan, you can just walk through the city. And Albonne was also really nice. It's also very beautiful, so I recommend Albonne too. And set, I mean the weather wasn't good that day. And it's also a little touristic. But there's a lot of coasts there, there's a harbor there. I guess in the summer it's really nice. The trip was really cheap i don't know if it's just because of covid that they have uh, discounts but it's definitely because of my age because in france you get a discount until you're 25 years old and also if you go with many people and you share an airbnb it's also going to be less expensive i enjoyed the trip i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i hope i inspired you to visit south of france so thank you so much for watching i will see you in